Hey everybody, I'm Chris, and thanks for tuning in to the Bloomerang Academy Junior Class today. Today, we are going to learn how to make a big Italian feast in a few different sessions. So for the first session, we are going to learn how to make meatballs. But first, I want to talk about the history of meatballs. And in order to understand the history, we have to go back to the year 221 BC to the Ken Dynasty in China. Now, a lot of you have seen the famous terracotta soldiers. That is the time period that meatballs can first be traced back to, to the Chinese army. There are a lot of recipes for meatballs that have come about through the years. And a lot of the ones that we know of here in the United States are from Italy. So now the Italian meatball can be traced back to Toronto, Italy. And it is a meatball that's called the polpette. Now these are tiny little meatballs about the size of a large marble but they didn't have any sauce or anything like that, and they're still eaten all around Italy to this day. Now, most of you would think of meatballs with spaghetti and meatballs, and an interesting fact is spaghetti and meatballs is an American invention. And so when a lot of Italian immigrants came over to the United States and they made their Italian restaurants, they combined sides of pasta, different sauces, and the meatballs that they brought over from Italy all together into one dish. And so if you were to go to Italy today and try to order spaghetti and meatballs with red sauce, they'd kind of look at you funny because that's not a traditional Italian dish, it's an American Italian dish. So today we're going to specifically just make meatballs and then we'll combine them with a few other recipes to make a big American Italian dinner. All right, so let's head to the kitchen and start making our meatballs. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take all of these ingredients and combine them into one bowl to make our meatball mixture. So here's what we have here. A pound of ground beef, three fourths cups of bread crumbs, a fourth cup of grated Parmesan cheese, a fourth cup of chopped parsley, a teaspoon of dried oregano, just a pinch of red pepper flakes, salt and pepper, and one egg. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and start pouring all of this together. All right, now comes the fun part. We're gonna dig in and actually start to mush all this stuff together. How's that look like? One big meat bubble. We should be all set. All right, so now that we have our meatball mixture, what we're gonna do is prepare a pan to go into the oven. So I'm gonna use this skillet here, but if you have just a regular metal oven pan, that's gonna be fine. What I did is put a, just a little layer of olive oil here in the pan, and so that's gonna help the meatballs cook. And we're gonna go ahead and take little clumps off here of the meatball to form them into these meatballs. And then we're just gonna start placing them here in the pan. All right, so here we have all the meatballs in the pan. Now, one of the things that I went ahead and did was preheat the oven to 450 degrees. And what we're going to do is we are gonna go ahead and cook these in the oven for 20 minutes, and then we're gonna put some Parmesan cheese on top and cook for another 20 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this, Very carefully, we're gonna go ahead and put it in the oven. And like I said, set a timer for 20 minutes. Okay, so now that the meatballs have been cooking for 20 minutes, we're gonna go ahead and take them out and we're gonna put a layer of Parmesan cheese on top of them. So we're gonna be really careful because this oven is hot, hot, hot. And so is this pan. Right, so the meatballs are looking really good so far. So we're gonna go ahead and just put our Parmesan cheese on top. So we're gonna put the meatballs back in the oven for another 20 minutes to let the Parmesan cook down on top of them. And that's gonna finish cooking the meatballs too. 
So let's go ahead and place it back in the oven. And we'll set the timer for another 20 minutes. All right, excited for these to be done. Okay, so now that the second 20 minutes has gone by, we've got the cheese melted on top of the meatballs. We're gonna go ahead and take them out and then we're gonna test the temperature on the meatballs. Okay, so we've got the meatballs out of the oven and we just, for safety, want to make sure that we check the temperature of them to make sure that they're cooked all the way through because we made some pretty big meatballs. And so with this, I'm gonna put a thermometer in there and this is gonna check the temperature. So for beef, we wanna make sure that the temperature is gonna be around 160 and it's perfect because we've got them at 207 right now. All right, guys, here we are with our meatballs and these look delicious. So there you have it, delicious meatballs. Now I hope your guys' turned out just as well as mine did today and that you had a really fun time making them. So tune in for the next video where we're gonna learn how to make the next part in our Italian dinner feast.